In discussions with a lot of first-time real estate investors, uh, I find myself getting in discussions on if there's going to be another correction. Right. Uh, and uh, in any investment, there's the possibility of a correction in the market. And my opinion on that is, is when you're comparing, say, Canadian real estate versus U.S. real estate and, and the likelihood of a correction in either market, um, the U.S. real estate's already seen a severe correction and it hasn't seen a recovery yet at this point. And to me, that makes it a much larger of a margin of safety for the, the, the idea that it won't correct so severely again. And let's just say that it did correct again. Um, let's just say there was a 30% market correction in the U.S. versus in, say, the Vancouver market. In the Vancouver market, we have very high inflated prices. In the U.S., uh, we already see low prices. So a 30% correction, while the same percentage, would be much less an absolute value in the U.S. correction. Another thing that I'm comforted with is the fact, uh, you know, we're not, uh, we're not overly leveraged in Atlanta uh, because we have to buy these units all cash. Um, there is really no leverage. And, and uh, if there is a market correction, you know, we're, we're always going to be able to, to cover our payments there because there is, no, there is no leverage. Correct. There is no payment on the investment if you haven't refinanced through, through a line of credit. Uh, the, other, the other thing is that your, your cost base is always the same. So, for example, if you buy in at fifty, sixty thousand dollars, you're still yielding the same amount because the rent level is not going to change, even though the value of the assets decreased.